Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout Hops. In the last episode, we woke up in Nick's house, and uh, we found out that Gideon will survive, just he didn't see who shot him, which is kind of inconvenient, but is, at this point, to be expected. Also, Claviar and Apollo are about to split off. Of course, I have to take Nick with me, but still, that's fine with me. He's a cool dude. I'm fine with hanging out with him. And Clavial said a word I don't understand, but I assume means goodbye. Anyway, let's get to it. And he's gone. Just like that. Courtroom. Yeah, I suppose that would come next. Investigating is one thing, but a courtroom in this place? Well, at least we'd have a different judge for a change. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure on that one. If I take the case, that is. Yeah, horns, staring into space isn't going to get much done. All right, fine. Lead the way. I don't exactly know my way around this place yet. Fair enough. Following a fox to the detention centre to speak to a bunny. This is my life, everyone. I mean, at least it's interesting. Let's head to the detention centre then, I suppose. CPD Detention Centre, January 5th, 10.50am. Well, here we are. Somehow with the animals, I expected it to be less dismal. Why am I getting the feeling that beyond the species, there isn't much difference at all? Uh, they're bringing her out. Oh, I'm having some serious deja vu right about now. Let's try to wrap this up quick, okay? I'm not sure I can promise that. It's not so much about the promise. It's the, the trial. It's not so much about promise. The trial is tomorrow. What? Oh, well, the system is confident in its conviction. I was hoping the world's court would be... This world's court would be softer than ours. Nope. <coughs> no, no such luck. Oh, uh, well, you came? Yeah, I thought I should hear you out. Yeah, Phoenix was the same way. And I know all about the plentiful questions that follow. Well, yeah, I do need to know what happened. Ask away, I won't hold anything back. But I can tell you right now that I didn't shoot him. He's my friend, I would never. But the gun. I have no idea how it got there. That's all I can say. I had it on me that day, even when I met you. I guess someone must have picked my pocket. Or the holster, I suppose. Why did you have it on you? You were off duty. You were meeting up with family. It, it makes very little sense to me, but still. Why? My bracelet isn't contracting. Either she's telling the truth, or she's so good at lying she has no tells. Somehow I doubt the latter. Yeah, she... I've seen her tells. I mean, she's had sort of tells like this, the ear flop, ears flopping down and the foot twitch. She'd definitely have a tell, I'm sure. Her nose twitch, that's that's another one, but she does that when she's scared. Which I guess you would be if you're having to try and keep a secret, maybe. Anyway, I digress. Alright then, I think that I believe you. Thanks, I appreciate that. I was doubtful, but now I'm here talking to her about it. She didn't do it, did she? That settles it then. I have t questions to ask and a trial to win. Look out, Zootopia. Here comes justice. Well, I like your enthusiasm. So, what can you tell me about Mr. Grey? Not not the book one. The, the nice one. So what's the history between you and the victim? Oh, me and Gideon? Oh, we go way back. He actually used to bully me as a kid. He used to bully you? Yeah. Uh, give me a razor to cut a bit of fur and I can show you the scars to prove it. Ouch. Doesn't help our case much, though. Still, I find it hard to imagine that guy as a bully. He seemed nice enough to me. 
Oh, he is. He's a really nice guy nowadays. He got sent to counselling. Came out a changed fox. Bygones are bygones. We've been friends for years. Oh, me and Mr. Wright went to hell and back to prove his innocence in another case some years ago, too. She definitely doesn't shout, sound like someone who'd shoot Mr. Gray. Maybe I should dig a little more. Hmm. So what happened? What exactly happened? What did you see? What did I see? Well, I never saw the shooter, if that's what you're asking. I heard the gunshot, same as you. So that's why you were there. Yeah, since I was helping Gideon cart his pies around, I was the first to arrive. Tell me everything, Miss Hobbs. Well, after we left the party, we both arrived together at his van. We first offloaded a load into his cart, which he then had me take back to over to the reunion. Nothing much happened at that time. I stopped to talk to a couple folks and finished carting the pies along. With that done, I made to return to the van to help Gideon with the final load. And that's when you heard the gunshot, on the way back. Yes, exactly. I ran to the scene as fast as I could, and when I arrived, there was Gideon, laying in a pool of his own blood. I rushed to his side, wanting to press something against the wound, but when I did, I saw the weapon discarded by his side. I recognized it, and only then did I realize that my own pistol was no longer in its holster. So, it was stolen? That would be the obvious conclusion, yeah. That sneaky little... So, what happened next? I was dazed, my mind swimming. I picked the gun up, wanting to make sure it was indeed my own, and... That's when Janet jumped me, having arrived to see me. Like that. I, I don't really blame her for what she did. Anyone would think I did it in those circumstances. It was quite... <clears throat> it was quite a compromising position to be in. Is that all? I remember that we arrived at that time. Yes, that's it. When I arrived at the scene, I found Gideon shot with my own gun lying next to him. It's when I picked it up that Janet appeared and arrested me. Thank you. It's good to know the exact sequence of events. Judy's testimony added to the court record. If that's all you know, then I don't have anything else I need to ask you right now. Alright, you should check out the scene if I might make a suggestions. I was planning on heading there anyway. Thank you for your time, Miss Hops. Not like I'm going anywhere, huh? Thanks for doing this, Mr. Justice. Apollo will do fine, Judy. Whatever you say, Apollo. F just find the person who shot my friend. Make sure justice is done. Well, it is in my name. Don't even start on the name puns, mister. Your last name is literally short for hopping. Well, if you're coming, Horns, we have work to do. Yeah, I hear you. Don't worry, Judy. I'll find the truth of this case. Well, I suppose with that, we move off to the train station. Train station, January 5th, 11.46am. Oh, well, isn't this place grand? There's not much to do here aside from catch on train. I'd better hurry on. Absolutely. Let's go. Bunnyborough Station. Bunnyborough Station, January 5th, 1.50pm. Well, here we are again. It was only yesterday everything happened, and it feels like a blur. <sighs> Whoever said a lawyer's life was boring. The scene of the crime should be our first stop. The ZPD will probably uh, be hanging around too, so have your questions ready. Will they actually answer? Normally I'd say no, but I'm here. That, and you are an associate of Mr. Wright. He's really respected around here, huh? Well, maybe more than back here than back home. What he did hadn't exactly gone unnoticed. Of course, no other humans have been seen here since then. 
Uh, yeah. Curious. Uh-oh. Well, let's hope we can dodge any more curiosity headed in our direction in the next episode. And I'll see you all then. Goodbye, good night, and good luck.